Hey, welcome to this week's edition of Snowmobiler Television. I promise you, this week's show is going to be a great ride. STV is brought to you by Yamaha, revs your heart. Polaris Snowmobiles, together we are born for more. Ford F-Series, Canada's best-selling line of trucks for 53 years. Tough, smart, capable. We're here in Miramichi on the start of a week-long snowmobiling adventure in the province of New Brunswick. Frank, you hang out here. It's time for this guy to go ride. Snowmobiling in New Brunswick has become extremely important and, and the reason for that is because it's attracting so many people, both from Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, but we're seeing the markets of Quebec and Ontario grow and grow and grow. Through many partnerships over the years, uh, both with the province and our federation, uh, obviously the businesses and especially our clubs and volunteers, everybody's bought in and that buy-in has brought more and more people here and we say that snowmobiling is New Brunswick's winter tourism. Winter is a big part of New Brunswick and therefore snowmobiling is a huge part of New Brunswick. We've adopted it and if you're going to live here you got to love winter. And so what's happened is that snowmobiling has become part of our fabric, it's become part of the fabric of our communities and so as, as that develops more and more uh, our partners and our governments and everybody understands the importance of it. Not only for our residents, not only for the people who live here, but for all the people that we attract here as we become known more and more as a destination for winter and thus for snowmobiling. The reason it attracts people is because it is so interconnected. I, I've had the great privilege of snowmobiling across North America and across Canada and, and because we connect directly to, to Nova Scotia and directly to Prince Edward Island and directly to Maine and directly to Quebec and thus to the rest of Canada, it, it, it allows people to come here and whether it's for a weekend or whether it's for seven days or five days, that interconnectivity and so that ability to tour and that ability to see different regions in New Brunswick and to experience all of New Brunswick, both east and west and north and south, is a great advantage we have here in New Brunswick with the trail system. So in New Brunswick, I mean, the first snowmobile was here just like it was in any other part of North America or, or with our friends close to us in Quebec or Ontario. And so we watched what those other provinces were doing. And, and through great leadership, some of the people that I first uh, called friends and colleagues and then getting the privilege to do this, we watched very closely. And so those friendships in Quebec and those friendships in Ontario, we took the best of that and also from the New England states. And we learned very early on that to be successful in New Brunswick, not only for our clubs and for our local people, but also to attract people to this province, what we were going to have to do was we were going to have to focus on the tourism aspect and all the uh, resources that New Brunswick had. Used to kid with the Minister of Natural Resources, I said, sir, snow's a natural resource. And we've had that buy-in from many, many governments, both provincially and federally over the years. And so through that, and through watching what others did, and not making the same mistakes, New Brunswick has now brought itself to a level that we can be proud of both here and for anybody that wants to come here. We had the advantage of learning two ways. One, by forming uh, these partnerships and friendships nationally and internationally. And, 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 and myself, I, I snowmobile a lot for pleasure as well as for this. And so 
I knew what we, we needed when you travel and when you saddlebag. And I remember a trip to Vermont and seeing how they were doing the signage at the intersections. And that's what became our permanent sign structures, okay? And, I, and I've snow building in Quebec and I, and, I, and I saw how like 24 hours after this blizzard, there could be, there could be the groomers out. And so I learned, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? Because the philosophy we have here is that a snowmobiler really only needs three things, okay? One, they want the trail groom. Everybody wants the trail groom. Two, they want it signed so they know where they're going. And three, they want a map. Now a map today is all kinds of different things, but they want a map that matches the trail that they're on and the signings. You give them those three things, and I'll tell you, the discussion around, around at the burger pit or at, at night around the fireplace will be positive. So mapping is a really important part of a ride experience, whether it be for the day or be for a longer trip. And so we've had to change and we've had to develop and we're really proud of where we're at now because you can say, okay, we got three days. How far does our group ride? How far do we want to go? Where's the gas? Where's the shelters? Where's the hotel? Where are all those things? And you literally just with your finger can go click, click, click and it'll tell you to the meter where you're going. So a great sense of security, a great tool. I think it sets us above and we're really proud of that. The beauty of New Brunswick is we always have snow. So when you've got snow, you can make things happen. And, and, and unbelievably, what I learned over the years was that a lot of people that, that were west of us really didn't think we had snow. I, I don't know, I guess they thought that the snow ended. Listen, I've got great colleagues and friends in the Gas Bay, and, and we all know the Gas Bay has snow all the time, but for some reason they thought that you crossed this magical line, there was no snow. So, so that's one of the big advantages in New Brunswick is the fact that we always have snow, and with the ability to have snow, we have a long season. It typically starts in late November, and I mean really starts in November, especially in our high, high ground in our Christmas mountains and near our Mount Carlton. And it goes in that same area right till the middle and end of April every year. So it's very normal for this area to have solid three months within the municipalities, four months and up to five months in the high ground. So that's a long season. That's a great opportunity to play. You got a long, long season. You got all kinds of major centers here. We can entertain you for three days, five days, or seven days. Uh, you're going to find that the trail signage is impeccable. You're going to find that the grooming is as good as anywhere else. You're going to find that you can do just whatever satisfies you, whether you're an on-trail guy or whether, or, or, or whether you're a long-distance tour, you're an overnighter, or you want to stay in one place. We have it all. So step out, make that bucket list trip, make it happen. For business owner, snowmobiling means everything to us. Because of the snowmobiling season, we do really get in a Miramisi, good travelers up here, and that boosts our economy in a Miramisi. Snowmobilers, they are absolutely wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. And we always like to see them. Snowmobilers, when they come to the Miramisi, uh, are usually surprised at the quality of the trails. Uh, the, the differences of the trails and, and the different uh, scenery that they get. Uh, we don't have dramatic heights of, of change in elevation, but we have some very nice scenery and, and well-groomed trails. The, the local uh, clubs does an extraordinary job in maintaining the trails. Um, they like the, the hospitality of Miramichiers, and, uh, and we do get a lot of repeat business. It's a small city, 16,000 people. Uh, it has the largest geographical footprint of any city in the province, but it, it still has everything uh, in the city that would entertain uh, and any need that a snowmobiler would have. Coming up after the break, we're gonna go and eat some of the best food that's on the trail. New Brunswick is known for epic snowmobiling, so we've come to Bathurst. The trails here are wide open with elevation. We're looking forward to that, but also visiting some of the impressive clubhouses along the way. 
So clubhouses can be found throughout the system here in New Brunswick and they really become part of the community and are a hub for activities in that local area. And some of them, like the clubhouse here behind me, have got a great reputation for food. I'm told this one here at the Super Village Trailblazers Club has got the best club sandwich in Canada. I'm gonna go find out. food on the trail. We've, uh, we've got a great uh, kitchen crew and uh, big, big portions and we've built on it over the years. Uh, keep kind of adding based on, uh, you know, what people want and what they're asking for and try to have everybody leave with a full belly. Well, the winters are long, so uh, I guess it's something that brings everybody together and uh, gives us a, a reason to get out and enjoy. Uh, it helps helps the community it's giving a, you know most of us are volunteers the girls that that do work in the kitchen are the employees so it gives them a, a job for the winter and uh, just just brings brings everybody together when we host events we've got the locals coming out and we've got the crew that we you know we volunteer together all the time it, it builds friendships and the the social part of it and the family part of it and the snowmobiling it's, it's kind of more than more than just a snowmobile club. We hear our trails are, are one of the, the best systems around. We've got uh, some beautiful scenery here. We've got the Jacket River Gorge that uh, people like to go and stop and have a little look out. Just, you can see down in the valley and coming through, you're, you're coming through a little bit of, uh, you know, the tight windy trails and you get the, the, the open stretches. And so I think we've got a little bit of everything. The spirit is, is very high in New Brunswick for snowmobiling. We have what we call white gold. It's, a, it's, a, it's always here, especially in northern New Brunswick where the snow levels are much higher. We have a tremendous amount of traffic coming in from our neighboring provinces, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. And they, uh, they, they come in here, well, we have 1,200 members at our lodge and 400 of them are from Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. So it's uh, absolutely a, a major uh, working force for us. I mean, we, we, it, it drives the economy in the wintertime. Yeah, well, in order to service our members, uh, we, we have to have uh, shelters and we also have to have clubhouses that are located far enough apart that we can get fuel for the machines and also the warming shelters, of course, to, to uh, enable people to pull over and rest and get warm because it can get cold up here. It's not, not unusual to see minus 25 on the trail. So those warming shelters come in pretty handy. Uh, and they're just, they're just part of the service that we offer. And I think that's one of the reasons we draw so many people in, having these clubhouses for fuel and it's very convenient for the, for the people that are coming in here from outside. Coming up after the break, the ride's going to continue here in New Brunswick. Riding in the trails in New Brunswick, one of the things that we've come across is a number of gems out on the trails, like the lodge behind me, Serpentine Lodge. Trust me, this is one place, if you ride in this area, you got to come here to experience Allier and what he's got to offer. Plus, he's got gas, so if you don't come here and get gas, you're probably not going to be able to keep going. Lear has been with us, uh, he's at the end of our trail system. He's been here almost 25 years. Uh, he basically looks after the, the lodge here himself with a little bit of help. And uh, yeah, he's a destination point. We, we have members that come in and uh, we've got to get to Lear's. He's, he's at the end of the system at Serpentine Lodge and it's, uh, it's a really, uh, it's a very convenient. You can gas up when you get here and have a nice meal, as we just had. Uh, so uh, yeah, he's he's a a special person. This is my 25th winter. Yeah, I'm 100 miles from every city, like 100 miles from Bathurst, 100 miles from Grand Falls, Edmundston 148, 
Curly Trail 138, Moose Valley 148. It's right dead center. Uh, Butch, he's the, he's the host over here. Everybody takes pictures of him. Everybody comes back to see him, not to see me. <laughs> Well, it's, it's actually great and we're very fortunate here to have this so-called white goal that we call our snow conditions that we do have here in the winter. And uh, we take advantage of it and uh, we've created a, a market in the area along with the, uh, the snowmobile clubs that operate here. There are two major ones. So it's a uh, it's very important market for us and uh, for the winter time and then summertime we're a tourist haven as well. It really helps to understand really what this recreational market's all about and uh, how one can enjoy it and how people do enjoy it. So as a result of that, I think we have uh, developed a very good infrastructure in northern New Brunswick here and through New Brunswick itself. And uh, we participate in that. So we provide services here at the hotel that includes a heated garage for storage or help out if you have problem, trail problems. And uh, we're on the trail, so that's a very good good part of it. And, uh, no, I enjoy snowmobiling as well and have over the years. Coming up after the break, the Bluebird Day continues here in New Brunswick. Yeah, check it out, come here. Somehow, through my superior diagnostic knowledge, I believe the belt is broken. I could be wrong, but I think this is our issue. Looks like it. Not often you can remove a belt through the belly pan, though. That was a good hole. Easy access, eh? <laughs> Piston Alley crowns another one. Thank you, sir. I'm honored to receive this award. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, but you too can win this award. So, fast is a good descriptor for the trails here in New Brunswick, but there's one trail here that's known as Piston Alley that intrigues me. Now the name Piston Alley comes from the old two-stroke triple days when riding it wide open would often lead to a seized piston. So with a name like that, you know the trail's got to be fast, and it's got to be fast for a long time. And I've been on other Piston Alleys around before, and not all have lived up to the hype, so I wonder if this one will. Hey, did I mention? There's no speed limits on the trails here in New Brunswick? It's awesome. <laughs> of course it's fun. It's awesome. Yeah, you can go pretty much anywhere. We've been, you know, to Moose Valley and everywhere. And, and it doesn't matter where you go. You run into people and everybody. It's a passion for everybody. So that does it, I guess. And we've got it and we enjoy it. So why wouldn't we want everybody else to enjoy what we've got? And we're lucky enough to have here in New Brunswick. Um, when you guys are out riding, uh, who's faster? It's me, of course. <laughs> Just got the weight advantage. Here it's crazy, the passion for snowmobiling. And there's so many people so heavily involved in it around here that it's extraordinary. And the trails are very well maintained and signed. It's the best signage I've seen is over here in New Brunswick. But once you get up here, it's worth it because you can go put three, 400 kilometers on a day and you're not driving hard. You can go out and enjoy yourself, stop, look at scenery, all that kind of stuff. 
So there's all kinds of different types of touring that you can do here. I mean, you can do that day trip, okay? But you also can do that weekend trip, or you can do that three-day weekend trip, or you can do that longer. Because we've got loops that could be 100 or 150 kilometers. We have 200-kilometer loops. We have the 300-kilometer loop. And so that allows you to go from community to community, okay? Or it allows you to kind of stay in one place and, and kind of be hotel at the same hotel every night. But ultimately, ultimately, there's all kinds of options, and all those options uh, attract all kinds of different people, all kinds of different skills, and allow everybody to come here and, and have an enjoyment at the level they enjoy. So that's it for our New Brunswick adventure where we rode about 750, 800 kilometers. All that's left to do is, well, load the trailer and head for home. But first, I'm gonna find Tyler and give him his New Brunswick souvenirs. <laughs> Till next time, we'll see you on Snowmobiler Television. Swarmy, where'd you go? Hey, Swarmy, got something for you. A little, a little something to remember New Brunswick by. STV has been brought to you by Ultimax Belts. Performance driven, performance proven. CKX, wear your passion. On Snow Magazine, for snowmobilers, from snowmobilers. Hey, welcome to this week's YouTube comment of the day, and it comes from our 2019 Polaris Indy XC850 first burn. And, and this comment comes from Canada, place to be. It's got exclamation marks in it, so I have to read it that way. Anyways, Canada, place to be, says you wear a puppy with the new Indy. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm not sure where you were going with that comment, Canada, please to be, with exclamation marks all over the place. But if I were to guess where you were going with that comment, i kind of thinking that I wasn't aggressive enough with the new Indy. Um, I'll try to do better next time. Anyways, uh, thanks for the comments. Love reading them, so keep them coming, especially you. Canada, place to be. That was a great comment. Love that one.